There's a new report out from the International Humanist and Ethical Union, and they found that there are 13 countries where it's a crime punishable by death to be an atheist. How mind-blowing is that in the year 2013? 13 countries will kill you if you're an atheist. The countries that do it are all Muslim. Afghanistan, Iran, Malaysia, Maldives, Mauritania, Nigeria, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, United Arab Emirates, uh, Yemen, and Pakistan. There's a lot I can say about that. I'll bite my tongue for a second and we'll come back. Laws in uh, some countries also prevent atheists from marrying, attending public school, participating as a citizen holding public office, or just existing at all. In fact, there are actually laws on the books in Arkansas, Maryland, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Tennessee, and Texas, which bar atheists from holding public office. Stay classy, guys. Now, to be fair, those laws are unconstitutional, so they're unenforceable, because, of course, the federal government says there can be no religious test for office, and that's exactly what that is. But they're on the books, which says something about the mindset in those areas. Uh, and also, there are 31 countries where being an atheist is punishable by prison time. Wonderful! 13 countries where you can be killed for being an atheist. 31 countries where being an atheist is punishable by prison time. So here's my takeaway from this. Look, as being somebody who is, I'm an agnostic, uh, and I'm also a... The, one of the biggest anti-theists ever. <laughs> I know that seems like such hyperbole, because how could I know? But I hate religion, man. Organized religion is a scourge. But uh, I even I naively think, from time to time, because I live in, you know, this liberal bastion in New York, that there's no discrimination against atheists, there's no discrimination against agnostics or non-religious people. I mean, it's that's it's not a big deal. But looking at this information, uh, you know, maybe I'm lucky for being in the area that I'm in and having a lot of people who are like-minded around me or just tolerant of, of what I am if I disagree with them. In a lot of places, that's not the case, man. There's flat, there's some serious fucking oppression, suppression, and repression going on up in this bitch. Let me tell you. So, uh, I mean, the idea, what my goal is when I hear stuff like this, you just beat back the ignorance. Take out a, a fucking mallet and go to town. Beat back the ignorance. And this is why I've always said I'm in favor. You know how you, you always hear people on Fox News saying like, well, why don't the atheists just be quiet about what they believe? No, 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 no. I want to, you know, be on a soapbox in the corner, uh, on the corner of a street, screaming the things that I want to scream and saying the things I want to say. And I want you guys to do it too about our beliefs because we're right. 